Welcome to Return to Athens. Today we look at a new suit fit for a king. New technology is forever changing the way we do things. Olympic sport is no different. So when a swim king steps onto the blocks, it isn't just the hopes of Australia resting on his shoulders. My goal in the sport is to, to be the fastest swimmer that I can possibly be. And so I look to, uh, you know, a body suit and, uh, you know, body suits are a wonderful thing. That suit is the jet concept from sports equipment company Adidas. Employing revolutionary new technology, the jet concept has redefined what is possible in swimwear engineering. It probably improves, uh, you know, one one-hundredth of a second, and that can be the difference between, you know, making a final and winning a race. After creating a suit that Thorpe won three gold, wearing in 2000, designing one that could make such a crucial difference presented a huge challenge for the innovation team. We were aware of some academic work looking at a drag pocket which exists on the back of the swimmer with up to 70 kilograms of effectively dead water. And our challenge there was to look at how we could possibly add something to the suit or modify the suit in order to try and reduce or change that drag pocket. That meant venturing into the complex world of fluid dynamics to look at the drag associated with swimming. Friction drag accounts for 8% of the total drag load and is affected by what a swimmer is wearing and their skin's contact with the water. The idea of using riblets in a device to modify flow in the back of the swimmer was one of a number of ideas that we explored. The American company 3M had developed a tape, a riblet tape, which was applied to commercial aircraft to actually reduce fuel consumption. And we'd seen riblets used in high performance yacht racing. From that, we moved this forward to swimming through a, a riblet device. The benefits of the suit are easily measured in time, but you wouldn't want to be in a hurry to get into it. You know, it's taking about 20 minutes to get on, yet the benefits outweigh, I guess, that little bit of exertion before competition. The innovation team started in 2002 by testing the prototype jet concept suit under laboratory conditions to determine the theoretical effectiveness and positioning of the riblets. After that, it was back to Sydney for tests in the Olympic pool, and it produced the desired increase in performance. This is the material and all this. You know, I felt like I was higher in the water. I felt a little bit smoother. I felt that you know there wasn't quite as much water on my back. With the advances in training techniques, the times that an athlete now swims were once inconceivable. So we can only imagine that with the addition of technology, it shouldn't be a surprise when records tumble come August 2004. To see it, you'll need to book a seat at the Olympic Aquatic Centre over days one to eight of the competition. Swimming is a blue ribbon event with finals action costing up to 200 euros. Don't forget another discipline of aquatics, the graceful art of diving. The diving competition takes place on most of the competition days. Ticket prices vary between 35 and 190 euros for the best seats in the house. We'll keep an eye on the torpedo as he prepares for an unprecedented gold sweep of the pool. So remember to keep watching Return to Athens as we bring you the latest in the behind-the-scenes news and views in the lead-up to Athens 2004.